Well, good morning YouTubers and welcome back to Max and Paddy's Adventures. <laughs> this time in a very wet and windy Peak District. Um, Storm Freya blew, blew through the campsite last night and uh, it was very, very windy and rainy and um, so not a great night's sleep. Um, just come up to half past five and we're just having a bite off to eat. Ed's got the shreddies out. It's Ed. Say morning. Morning. And we're off to Mam Tor. That's the idea. Uh, albeit it's very, very windy. So uh, whether there'll be any sound later is another question because I, I doubt we'll be able to pick any sound up with where the wind is at the minute. So um, we'll have a bite to eat and then we'll uh, we'll head off. And uh, hopefully there's stars outside. So there is obviously some uh, partial clouds. So um, you know there is still a chance of a decent sunrise, even though. Um, it's blowing a hooli. So, adventure continues soon. Say that again. <laughs> I said all this just for a shot that a million people have shot a million times. Yeah, exactly. The wind was so horrendous at this point. I was simply trying to point out that this crack in the sky, if the sun shone through it, might provide an excellent opportunity. The wind was whistling so fast, the clouds were moving at a phenomenal speed over the top of Mam Tor. Sadly, the sunrise was a weak affair and it didn't light up the underside of the clouds and this was the best I managed. Wow! I mean, that was the windiest conditions I have ever, ever been out in a camera with. It was coming over the top, was literally really, really difficult to stand up. It was horrendous. And then as we dropped down, let me show you this. That was the scene as I dropped down. Uh, there's like a cement works uh, in Castleton, I think it is. Um, and it features in quite a few shots. It's got like uh, smoking chimney coming out of it. And these crepuscular rays were behind it, but it was so difficult. I and mean, it took a load of shots at really fast shutter speed to try and uh, sh sh shoot in handheld uh, in the hope that I get one of them sharp. Um, but if, if I managed to get one sharp, could be a good one. Could be a good one. And if it is, you're going to see it now. Right, we've been back to the uh, van, had a bit of breakfast, um, and we're going to head off to try some of the edges, um, Stanage Edge and Burnage Edge and uh, a couple of gorges. Um, we have a 10 minute drive to where we're going. Um, still quite windy, albeit the wind is starting to die down a bit. So we'll head up there and uh, see if we can manage to catch uh, some decent light. Right, we've parked at um, Surprise View and uh, we've come for a walk in the gorge. Uh, we've had a look at some rock formations that might be good for Milky Ways tonight. Wind's starting to drop down a bit and there is a forecast for some clear skies tonight so that looked quite promising. We'll come down in amongst this, uh, this area is sort of fairly famous for millstones, uh, big round stones and there's uh, a few round here in this green mossy rocks. So you've got like this lovely mossy area here. All these real green covered mosses and then you've got things like this which is like a millstone that's sort of trapped between some stones uh, between some trees sorry these are quite interesting subjects I mean the lights a bit harsh but hey ho I might try and take a few and see how they look
those of you following me on uh, Facebook will know that uh, recently I've been talking about using the long lens a bit more for woodland work and landscape work generally. So I've been really trying to use I mean, harsh, really harsh light. Um, so I'm already thinking black and white, but I've been trying to create some images using depth of field, uh, using the long lens. It's not my forte really, and I'm finding it quite challenging. Um, so I've had a look around the woodland and tried to pick some contrasty colours out or contrasty scenes with rocks and um, trees. So I'll put a couple of images up. Listen, these aren't going to be world beaters by any stretch of the imagination, but it's just giving you an idea of some of this practice that I'm going through. Uh, just to show a journey, hopefully, of um, development as I go along. Um, so I'll stick a couple up. Um, lovely place in great in good conditions this would be really really class location really spot on i'll definitely be coming back here It's a bit harsh, so I've just been messing about uh, with a bit of intentional camera movement. It's not a technique I generally like, but I've, um, I'm trying to try and do a few more artistic things. So I'll basically take a shot over a, a relatively uh, long shutter speed, maybe a second, a couple of seconds, and as you take the shot, you just shake the camera like this. Sometimes you go wide, sometimes you just go narrow and fast and it creates an effect, um, a blurred effect obviously, but uh, some of them can be quite neat. So I've had a couple of play with them and see if I can generate anything that looks like a Monet or a Van Gogh. Or then again, it might just look shit. carry on you can see what's left of a rainbow behind me oh, I literally grabbed my bag grabbed my camera changed lens ran as fast as I could to try and get these rocks in the background rocks here sort of roughly in the middle of the rainbow I think it looks all right Whew. This was me trying to explain in really high winds that a second storm had just blown over with the most amazing light that I'd ever seen. It was absolutely phenomenal as the wind whistled by and the rain howled down and the sun just put these sunbeams, look at that, how bright it is now, uh, shining down into the valley. Um, and I was just praying that a big panorama that I'd taken in high winds, I was just keeping my fingers crossed that it managed to stitch together. Because if it did, and if it did, you can see the expression on my face, what I thought it would be like.
I just woke up uh, 3.30 a.m. Um, which is a bit of a daft time of waking up on all, but um, sort of semi clear skies forecast. Um, good time for Milky Way, galactic core starting to rise this time of year. So, um, hey, like we said, what else have we got to do? So, um, up we get. I'm going to, uh, I've already sussed out somewhere to go and have a look. I'm just going to go and check and see what the night sky is like. Um, as usual for me, the night sky is going to be difficult to film, but. Uh, I'll see what we can do, we're going to get out and see if we can uh, get a couple of Milky Way shots. So we walked down in the night uh, with our head torches illuminated and we came to this set of rocks uh, where I had an idea for a Milky Way selfie but this was the best I could manage. The clouds were horrendous, uh, they never went away and I had an idea that I would be stood here with the Milky Way arched over me but sadly it never worked out. The following morning the wind was still playing havoc with the recordings but well, this was me demonstrating where we were at at the rocks again the following morning with a touch of snow that had uh, fallen overnight on the rocks and some nice colour in the sky which led to uh, a couple of images that I can now show you. Freezing cold morning this morning, but that is the end of a very brief trip to the Peak District. My first visit will definitely not be my last. Really enjoyed it. Um, some really interesting um, landscapes, different to the Lake District. Um, a lot of rocks and uh, edges and, and um, some nice gorges and things like that. So really, really enjoyed it. Um, and hopefully, fingers crossed, a couple of half-decent shots in there as well. So... Um, until next time, see you later.